Hi there, it's Jaakko and today I'd like to take a look at how I created this 3D logo. I did this in Illustrator first, I just designed the, the text uh, in Illustrator and bring it to, to Lightwave and did just a simple extrude of the faces and and I did do a little bit, I have to do a little bit of adjustment of the mainly the holes here and so on because uh, they didn't uh, sometimes the import uh, EPS function doesn't really perfectly do it so you might have to adjust a little bit but yeah it was pretty straightforward and I created the bevel to here and 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 yeah and uh, the UV maps was really really easy because I just went to map and make UVs and I used the automatic uh, atlas map so that uh, we can actually take a look uh, it's actually doesn't look uh, it looks like this and and the faces are laid out uh, here it doesn't really matter that much in this sense because I know how I'm going to use this model that I'm going to be using this for maybe I'll do some renders later in the light wave and I know that this isn't a big game model so so I don't have to be careful about uh, how to how to really align this and all the textures are done in Substance Designer anyway so it's going to be automatic automatic thing so yeah and so the thing what I did here is that I imported it to 3ds Max and assigned the proper uh, smoothing groups here because this stuff is actually quite important a lot of artists ignore this and they just say that yeah if you throw some textures in there it's not going to be visible but but it is and you definitely need a proper smoothing groups if you are going to be uh, baking maps in Substance Designer because it's gonna be total mess if uh, if you just uh, like smooth everything and so on. So yeah, I did this and there are some useful things like just selected uh, some of these like this and I used the auto smooth here to to sort of um, smooth it nicely and and yeah, I came up with this result. So again, I exported this stuff from here. As OBJ and I went to Substance Designer. And yeah, you can bake the maps really easily here. You just right click the model and bake model information and you can get position, curvature, ambient occlusion and so on. These are maps I almost always bake and and it's very quick and very nice way to do so. Uh, totally, uh, totally big fan of uh, Substance Designer's baking functions. So here we are. The graph is very simple. Um, there's nothing, nothing groundbreaking here. Um, so the the base color. This is basically um, this PBR metal reflectance, which is a um, node you can get, which comes with Substance Designer. So you just imp put this here, and you choose the metal color, and this will give you the exact, uh, the correct uh, metal reflect reflectance for the metal you choose so by doing it this way you can get solid foundation of uh, the, the correct values and you can just build on that like I did so so what I did for the base color uh, I created this sort of frosty effect and and this is very easy I used uh, the ambient occlusion which I baked and uh, inverted that and use it as a mask to to mask this uh, crunchy effect so I, again, I just import this crunch map and uh, do its transformation, do its scale, it and put it in there, and then mask it by by that. So we got this. And then the normal is I'm not doing anything with normals here. I just uh, import the uh, just plug the normal color in here, and that should be all right. And then the roughness again. Roughness is the same. I'm using the same crunch for the roughness. So the roughness really gives us this nice looking kind of. Uh, metallic uh, frosty effecty thing here <laughs> uh, you can it's really I'm really big fan of the of the roughness workflow because you can really go to town with the roughness maps so again nothing special here just to take this this value and you can kind of we can actually kind of play around with this to, to see the effect that that uh, of course the, the higher value is more rough which means less less uh, reflective and and then if you go this way it's like tot tot totally uh, gonna be so yeah I left it around here and and yeah this is basically it uh, we've got the PBR ready ready to ready to render um, a 3d logo with PBR textures and nothing nothing really special and you can also what I did for, for the 
photo image, I uh, just uh, did some eye ray render here with the used uh, the environment map which comes with Substance Designer. So yeah, see you soon.